This W is the most broken ability of the champion, by the way. That's why your fundamentals are so important, chat. Set up my solo kills through waves. When can Garen play? Ain't dead. What we call Emish. Every move you made, I was watching you. If you are serious about improving and climbing to your desired league rank, you're in the right place. This year, I've worked on laying out two courses that will help you in all aspects to improve. One is about all the fundamentals for the laning phase, and the other one goes in-depth on tempo and the mid to late. I've been challenger for seven years, and I can guarantee you that this will massively speed up your process and reaching any goal that you have set in mind. Both courses have a preview video where you can see the style of the videos, so check those out before anything. You can also always join my Discord to check out some reviews. All right, let's get into the video. I'm playing as Garen again. Tomorrow it's up on the PBA server. The season 14 changes. Maybe we can test it on stream. PBA is really hard for me to play because I lag so hard. I could try it, I guess. So let's scout the early game here, right? We play against a Jarvan Garen and we have an Evelyn in the jungle. So their jungler in the early game is a lot stronger than mine, right? Evelyn wants to fall clear. Jeff Jarvan definitely wants skirmishes in the early game. I definitely gotta keep in mind that this Jarvan is gonna be a lot stronger than my jungler in the early game. So I gotta I gotta keep that in mind. And then. Uh, Garen is playing Conqueror Sorcery, so he has no resolve, and he's probably playing with Nimbus, right? And his D shoot start, okay? All right, let's focus here, okay? This is a really unplayable matchup for Garen, by the way. I win level one, I win after first reset, I win after level six. This matchup is just never good for Garen because he can never win short trades or the extended fights. So I just want to all in him. I have bone plating too, right? I got lethal tempo. You shouldn't be looking for the priority. He can't. I always want to try and force priority here. Okay, his E start. Very interesting. He just doesn't win. Because a little tempo. Good side up by him, I guess. Also ugly Q by me, I'll be honest. Okay, I probably want to take E second here, but let's see. Okay, Jarvan is bot here. He's passing at the top. Action is invading. Nice. Two means for level three. I want to wait with using my E for my level 3 here. Still has potion, I don't. Level 3. Chat, don't say anything. I got the cannon if you guys didn't see it, by the way. Do I proxy this? Nah. Look at the W poke. That W hurts so much. It's 80 damage, man. This W is the most broken ability of the champion, by the way. Max health physical damage. That's why I do so much. Look at this damage. Crazy. I just poke him with my W. I know Jarvan is around top side. You always want to try and angle your Qs when he goes for last hits, right? So you can guarantee the, to land it. Okay, just keeping up the pressure. Jarvan is top side, so I gotta be a little careful here. This guy was also walking up when I walked to the bush. I'm scared of Jarvan being here. I'm gonna check it. No, Garen is walking up. I'm scared of this bush. My ward in a second. Okay, <laughs> that was scary. All right, slow push this wave, hard push next. If I get every mean, I'm around 1.1k gold as well. And by slow pushing this wave and hard pushing next, I will also lane lock this guy. So I actually don't need to kill this Garen. If I slow push this wave and hard push next, Garen is going to be stuck in lane because I have TP and he is Ignite, right? So I'll get ahead 10 out of 10 times by slow pushing this wave and crushing it, literally. I need every last hit and I give perfect Berserkers too. Although if he walks up for last hits, I missed the last hit here. I should have just played for last hit. Okay, let's recall at least. Let's recall at least. Let's be disciplined here. I should have just played for the CS. I would get Berserkers. Now this wave will start bouncing towards me. And what is Garen going to do? Is he going to stay or is he going to reset? If he stays, he's screwed. If he resets, he'll lose basically a full wave here, right? Five gold for me. Always do this. He stays now. And that is why I said I'll get ahead 10 out of 10 times by recalling and TPing. Set up kills through wave shed. And for Ibeus. Reset. Get your items. Garen was in a shit position there. He either recalls, right, and loses a full wave, or he stays, and he dies. Well, he decided to stay and die. I put him in such a shit position there. And just by understanding these wave crashes and your reset timers, I'm telling you, you will get ahead of your opponents 10 out of 10 times. Because I get ahead there 100% of the time, right? He either loses a full wave, or he stays and dies. That's why your fundamentals are so important, chat. Last setting means to proxy here to reset. Get tempo. Where is Garen? Is he trying to find me to cancel my reset? I think he was. So now I proxy to get extra tempo. And now Garen does not have enough time to hard push this way before I'm back. So now look his items. Look my items. Again, re proxy there to set up my reset timer. I also get the plate. So now we got a solo kill. And now Garen does not have enough time to push this out. And I have the item read. I can kill him again. Set up my solo kills through waves.
Four mouse. A slow push into hard push, into TP back, lane locking him, getting a solo kill. Then we came when he came back, I proxied, got tempo again, and solo killed him again. And now I'm gonna take this wave and reset again. Now, why do I reset and not stay for the plate? So that I'm in time on this wave again, where Garen is going to try and hard push and I'll kill him on the bounce again. Yep. So now I lose the play, but it's okay, because it wouldn't have changed my reset anyways. But now Garen does not have enough time to push in this wave and this wave before I'm back, right? And this leads to Garen permanently being forced to walk up for last hit. Because as you can see right now, what's happening to the wave? It's slow pushing towards me. Garen can try and hard push it. However, I'll be back in time to collect the freeze. If he just slow pushes, by the way, then I could take this. But my general will probably hate, hate me if I do that, so I shouldn't. So now Garen is still forced to walk up for last hit, and I get get a freeze so the thing that we're teaching that i'm trying to teach you guys here is think ahead with your wave positions if you're thinking ahead with your wave positions you will always be a step ahead of your opponent and then how can they play so garen still can play the game chat garen is still forced to walk up for last hits i got my e again i got my ult soon again and i'll kill the garen again Do I need good mechanics for this? No. I just need fundamentals. And we kill him again. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Push in this wave, make it bounce back into me, recall, and then the Garen will die again on the bounce. It starts to become an easy game. And this all snowballs from one kill as long as I manage to maintain my tempo. So now I'm gonna stay for one play, but then I'll also proxy the next... What's this lady girl doing here? He used W. Recall. Now Garen, what he should do is hard push. The reason this guy has to hard push is to make the wave bounce back into him, right? If he makes this wave hard push, like he hard pushes this wave and this wave, he can make it push back towards him. If he's not fast enough, I'll be here to freeze. Too late, buddy. Alois is back. Alois is back. And he's gonna freeze again. And you're dead again. When can Garen play? Can he ever play the game anymore? Can this guy ever play the game? No, because I just have a chokehold on him. I permanently control the wave and I permanently put it in a position where it's gonna be forced to walk up and I don't lose my tempo one time. I just have him by the bowels. He can't do shit anymore. This guy has no ult. Jarvan is relatively strong, but not that strong. We're still yawning. He has flesh. He's gonna flesh. Oh, try to predict it. I don't need him to take it here. It's better to pick my jungler away here because I'll get it just by landing 1v1. But if he takes it here, I'm going to allow the Garen to farm like that. So I'm actually picking my jungler away just so I can play here in the 1v1 scenario. This guy's had enough by my fundamentals. This guy has fundamentally had enough. <laughs> Okay, shut up. Anyways, Chad, now if you want to learn all these fundamentals that I'm talking about, like the wave management and holding this grip over your opponent, highly recommend checking out Estimation Mark course, GG. Uh, now we're going to go hole breaker next. I'm going to build a little bit of defense. Uh, no, never mind. I know, bitch. Let's keep up the pressure now. Now I want to expand my lead, Chad, but I want to expand my lead in a way where I do the risk averse. Because if I give away my 1k shutdown, I lose the grip over the game, right? I want to make sure I expand my lead, but I don't want to die in the process of doing so. I'm going to take... Calculate the risks, and let's look to... Okay, Garen's mid fist is top. This guy has five kills. Yeah, you don't beat me. Okay, nice. Jarvan is both sides, so I'm free to do whatever I want. If you reach 12-0 power spike, I give 1k bits of zero deaths until 12 kills. Okay, as long as you play disciplined. Please don't FF before I can get 12 kills, though. That's the only... The, the only way I can lose is if they FF. I'm gonna... Am I gonna reset? No, I need 1700, right? Oh, Jarvan's here, Emphasis here. I'm not gonna risk it now. I ain't risking shit, by the way. Let's go on both sides. I just need to push this wave, get Hole Breaker. Okay, we have it. Yes, if you get the course, you have access to it forever. Plus, uh, next month, I'm not gonna do any solo coaching. I'm gonna add a lot more content to the courses too. Because I have a lot of uh, things lined up for them. So, uh, there is that too. And if you get it now, you still get access to the next parts too. So, there is that. Okay, let's get a rep buff. Let's look to expand our lead. Tier 2 turrets give 600 gold. Tier 1 turrets give 300 gold. Their win condition right now is the Fizz and the Jarvan. So, ultimately, killing the 0 5 Garen here one more time will not change the item of this game. Killing the Fizz, killing the Jarvan will change the item of this game, right? So those are the people I probably want to target here. Also, I need a little bit more kills. That's one. 
Loot. Heart is third. Keep expanding my lead, but risk averse. I don't want to die. So this will give me 600. I want him to flash. Oh, okay, I use Q. Young Gaming, by the way. I wanted him to use E or Q. Garen could come here. I see Tom Kench. Tom Coco Lounge. This is spawning two. Three to one. Oh, lucky. I'm gonna not push this way yet. I wanna wait to see if somebody actually goes for the side wave, like Fizz or Garen. There he is. I should not E. I should wait with Eing to chase him. I just need to not die to Fizz now. There could be a fish here. Okay. I see catfish. Yes. Yeah, buddy. <gasps> Twelve zero. I can do risky plays now. Yes, sir. Buff yon. Time me out for thirty minutes now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we thank you for the thousand bits. Salute, salute. I'm gonna TP bot now, chat. Keep expanding my lead. Play for natural resources. I don't know why you always want me to time you out. Continuing to expand my lead here, playing for the tier one turrets. All right, Jarvan and Fizz are still the only win condition. Rip Garen. I'm sorry for bullying. Well, we have three items now. Like I said, we expanded our lead, risk averse. There was no way that they could pretty much shut us down, right? Because we never really went for skirmishes where I did not want to be in. What am I doing doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just pressing my shit. It works though. I actually found the vein. Okay. Level up mechanics at two. Now let's get the Herald and end the game. Okay. Now we're going to reset with this. I can almost buy a full shoot ball as well. All we need right now at this point is just anything defensive. And the game's over. It's only the fish that's a problem, right? But you see here, chat, how I'm 200 CS. I mean, I do also have 16 kills. But I've gotten... I mean, actually, I should be top. I should not be here. Because there's still a tier 2 turret here that I should play for. I thought I had all, all of them already, but I don't. So let's push this out. Get enough gold for shoot bow. And then we go top and we basically end the game. Okay, let's get red buff. We have Harold. I'm going to use that top. Get the last tier 2. We're going to be full build at minute 20. Yon is just a top lane champion that can do everything, right? You're strong early. You're strong mid game. You're strong late game. As long as you don't lose your tempo. You're strong in team fight. You're strong in side lane split push. Your champion can kind of do everything. And that's the nice thing about this champion. Quick taxi. Quick taxi to the tier 2 turret. Had to do some passive income too. Alright, let's keep it going. <laughs> this champion is ridiculous. It's a little bit more potential than kill, I believe, chat. Yeah, I don't know. The champ is a little bit more stronger than kill. Am I piggy? Ah, my life piggy. I'll check out TP back. I buff you on. I agree. See, the thing is, I understand that for being upset, by the way. With me smurfing, I understand it. But we've got to get through these elo brackets before we can get high elo. But I'm very certain that almost everybody in this stream learned something new about this game, especially in laning phase. And how I expanded my lead across the rest of the map, even though my teammates were realistically losing. I'm sorry for the Garrett, I'm sorry for enemy team, but I'm sure everybody learned something new. Yeah, yeah, yeah.